Hi, welcome to Spatial Snippets. My name is Alyssa Rosenblum, and I'm a senior scientist here at Nanostring Technologies. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Immuno-Oncology Proteome Atlas for our Geomics Digital Spatial Profiler. What if you could access all IHC-validated antibodies for immuno-oncology? And what if you could compare over 570 IO protein targets on a single slide? What if you could create an IO spatial proteum atlas and then combine that IO proteum data with WTA to get whole transcriptome and proteum on a single slide? Today, we're introducing the Geomics IO proteum atlas, or IPA for short. Our IO proteum atlas covers virtually every IO protein target in the world's largest IHC compatible antibody catalog with our partners at ABCAM. We cover 570 protein targets across cancer, metabolism, infectious disease, organ transplant, epigenetics, autoimmunity, and post-translational modifications, with comprehensive coverage of the hallmarks of cancer across 77 functional pathways. And if, you, if there's something in there that you don't see, you have the ability to add up to 40 of your own protein targets. The Immuno-Oncology Proteome Atlas also allows you to do true multi-omic studies in a single piece of tissue. You can get information on what is being signaled, being the whole transcriptome with our whole transcriptome atlas, and what is happening with the IO Proteome Atlas. Two great analytes brought together on a single slide. Imagine the possibilities. We are transforming spatial proteomics with our IO Proteome Atlas. Our curated and validated IO content uses clinical proteomic tumor analysis consortium data and focuses on post-translational modifications, making up approximately 12% of our overall content. We use, again, those high-quality ABCAM antibodies, and then employ our immuno-oncology subject matter experts to make sure we're getting the best content possible for your studies. Our content is human-specific, mapped to 556 unique genes, 77 functional annotations, and all the hallmarks of cancer. Our IPA delivers results that you can trust. We have functional validation of our reagents using orthogonal methods across two independent labs, first using the IHC data provided by our partners at ABCAM for specificity, then also making sure we have that multiplex validation that is so important via our internal labs at Nanostring. We measure our 570 plex over 90 different cell lines um, on our cell pellet arrays and use FDA approved screening tissue microarrays on tumor, and normal tissue in order to make sure we have good coverage across all possible samples. We assess clear positive signal in positive control cells and tissues, and then we assess clear negative signal in negative control cells and tissues. Compare the two, and we can tell when our antibodies are at their most functional. We also have a focus on our post-translational modifications, specifically on our phospho-specific antibodies. Post-translational modifications often determine functionality, activity, or stability of your protein of interest. And we made sure that all of our phospho-specific antibodies were evaluated, evaluated and demonstrate clear phospho-specificity. IPA enables detection of hundreds of protein in distinct cell populations. Here we show an image of a tumor array sample of liver cancer, where we've placed one ROI on a clear pan-CK positive region and one ROI on a clear CD45 positive region. When we look at the overall uh, analysis of the proteins across both samples, we can see the clear differentiation between that tumor-specific region and the immune-specific region. This is what we expect to see. I'll also draw your attention to all the positive signals of these proteins that we got, demonstrating that you really can detect hundreds and hundreds of proteins within a single OI. When entering into your proteogenomic workflow, that true multi-omic workflow for a single sample on a single slide, we wanted to make sure that our IPA performance remained consistent, whether you use IPA alone, or IPA and WTA. We see a similar distribution pattern for our signal to noise ratio, whether using IPA alone or IPA plus WTA, and phenomenal concordance with a Pearson coefficient of 0.92. I hope that you'll give it the Immunoproteome Atlas a try in your own research. It is the ultimate discovery tool to find the next blockbuster IO target. Think about how you could discover new candidate biomarkers and drug targets by screening our 570 plus protein targets on one slide, and then you can verify them downstream with open source clone information from ABCAM, the world's largest supplier of our IHC validated antibodies. Thanks for your time.